What do you do when you hit the throttle and there's a hesitation? We'll tell you in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson and this is Shop Tool Reviews. We had a Cadillac Escalade with a 6.2 liter GM LS series engine in it, and it was throwing a code P0121. Now specifically that code points to throttle position sensor, but also other codes may lead to the same thing. It may be something to do with throttle body or throttle blade, throttle position sensor, several codes will lead to the same problem. And basically it's a dirty throttle body. Now how do we fix that? It's really an easy fix. In fact, you really only need three tools, and that is an eight millimeter or a screwdriver to take off your hose clamps, a 10 millimeter, and uh, some needle nose pliers and actually just remove, I believe, one uh, push clip. And that's it. Now we also use the Monster Underhood light and also these awesome M12 ratchets. They come in very handy. And then you're gonna need some good throttle body air and intake cleaner. Now, make sure you're not using just old brake cleaner or carb cleaner. You wanna make sure it's something for a throttle body so it doesn't mess up your mass airflow or your throttle position sensor or something like that. So we're gonna loosen two eight millimeter hose clamps or you can use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen those and pull those hoses off and then also we're gonna take off the PCV valve, which is on the side of that air intake. And then we're gonna remove the air intake. It pulls off the clips. There's no bolts holding it on or anything. And we're gonna lay that aside. Now we're also gonna take and remove the negative battery cable on the battery. That's gonna keep us from shorting something out, uh, from messing with one of those sensors and throwing th something out of whack on the computer. We definitely don't wanna do that. So we're gonna remove that battery cable first. In fact, you may wanna do that as step one is removing that negative battery cable. Then once we get that air intake off, now we're gonna remove the wire to the actual throttle body or to the throttle position sensor and remove that so we've got no electronics actually going to the throttle blade. Now there's just four 10 millimeter bolts holding that on. Actually there's two 10 millimeter nuts and two 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna remove those. It should slide right off. It's a rubber O-ring behind that and this one's got over 100,000 miles on it. It still slid right off. It wasn't sticky at all. And when we pull this off, it may not look extremely dirty to you, but trust me, any filth in there is gonna cause some issues. In fact, what you probably haven't noticed is a progressively uh, worse uh, emissions efficiency as well as throttle response over the last, you know, 30, 50, 60,000 miles, and it's progressively gotten worse, you just didn't realize. What's happening is the computer is continually fixing itself with that throttle blade and that throttle position to give it the right amount of fuel, even though everything's getting dirty in there. So we're gonna clean that up. And in fact, once we get this back together, you may notice a high idle. Now, if you'll just drive that and, and you could even let it idle for a while, shut it off, and then let it idle for a while again and shut it off, it will relearn itself. There are some cases where you may have to take it to a dealer and get it relearned, but the computer should relearn itself and actually bring that idle back down and drivability should be resumed to, to normal, if you will. Once we get that throttle body off, it's really just a little elbow grease and not much. Uh, an old toothbrush, which I didn't add that to the tool list, so make sure you have an old toothbrush. And then your throttle body air and intake cleaner. So make sure you get it good and doused down. In fact, the first time, just kind of hose it down, get it good and wet, and let all that uh, old grease and grime soak in some of this throttle body cleaner. And then start scrubbing away with your toothbrush and hose it down, scrub it, hose it down, scrub it, and just keep working it out of there. And pretty soon you'll get it really clean. I think I did the whole thing in less than seven minutes. That's with me video on it. So it really doesn't take long at all. And then basically it's just a reverse of what we did. We're gonna put the throttle body back on, put the two nuts, the two bolts, uh, and snug that up. It doesn't have to be real tight. You got an O-ring back there. So there's actually torque specs for that and I'll include that in the notes, but I didn't worry about it. I just tightened them down with, uh, with my ratchets here. And then once we get the throttle body back on, we're gonna plug in our throttle body sensor cable, our throttle body plug. We're gonna plug that in and then we're gonna put back on the air intake tube with the two hose clamps, the two eight millimeter hose clamps. We're gonna hook that back up and then you see on top of the engine, there's actually uh, one grommet that that air intake sits over. And once that pops into place, that's good to go. 
Now that we've got the air intake put back on, we can now hook up our negative battery cable. Go back over and make sure you've got everything hooked up before you do this. Make sure you have everything back in place and everything hooked up and all your tools removed from around the engine. And then you can hook up your negative battery cable and start the vehicle up. That's it. This same simple procedure works on about all LS engines as well as even some of the, the V6 engines as well in the GM series. So any of your GM motors, even some of your other manufacturers, same idea with the throttle position sensors, the mass air flows, and the throttle bodies. When they get dirty, it'll start coating, it'll start running rough, so they need to be cleaned up and it's a pretty simple procedure, especially if you take your time, you know what you're doing and you're careful about it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure you keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day.